was the scoreline suggest, wasn't it? We looked in control from the uh, one It could be still to it. would have settled for a 1-0, to be honest, but we scored some good goals. Lodgy, Bobby's finish was excellent, and obviously Lodgy being unselfish, I think he's daft, I think you should have scored his hat-trick yourself. But he's unselfish, and to be honest, we're seeing about the forward player, and uh, I questioned their forward, can we score goals up front? And all three forwards have got one. I'm not saying that that's going to be the answer, but at the minute, they've just proved a little point to me today because that's what I said before kick off. So uh, now we're in a hat with three forwards scoring goals, even though Carl's took a little knock at the end. Um, I'm having, uh, we're doing okay. The back three solid again, Talks solid again. Uh, midfield, I thought Moore Hawking was excellent. I thought he was absolutely excellent. I thought he'd done really, really well. And uh, I'm pleased Moore, he ran the game, Moore. You know, Lodge will get all the applause, and rightly so. I'm not knocking out the Lodge, but I thought Moore was the one who stood out. You know, he stood out a lot. And, I'm delighted to get Moore back, you know. And how selfless was Dean Lodge at, on a hat trick at, at three 0 He could have squared it. I Bobby Carl was Dennis. He could have taken it himself. Would Bobby have done that? Well, oh God, it would have been in the back of the net, and um, and that, that would have, it doesn't matter if Carl was a yard out. Bobby would have just had a shot because Bobby's greedy. Um, but uh, if I was Lodge, I would have went for the hat trick. To be honest, I think he's been very unselfish. I think he's been a bit daft. I think he should have just put put it in the back of the net. Uh, but then again, fair play. If it didn't come off, I would have hammered him. Um, to be honest, because the call never scored. It's Lodge's fault. He's got a score there. But very well, Lodge. I thought Lodge changed the game, you know, his pace and he, the first goal was a great finish by Lodge, I thought he caused problems all game and um, we thought beforehand he could win the game for and he has done to be honest and fair play to him and he's doing well at the minute he won the game for just about last week as well so uh, he's, he's going for a bit of good form to tell the truth which I'm pleased with him. And how important was it for, to keep a clean sheet this afternoon, particularly for Rob Tolfrey who made an error at the end of the Faversham game? He's kept five clean sheets in seven games, I think it is or something like that, it's not a problem, he may never he, um, his kicking wasn't the best at times of the year, but he, he stopped twice. He had one where Veggie should have scored. I thought his angle was great. The one at the bottom where he comes with his feet, um, he saves that like an arm. So he's pulled little saves off where not many keepers do because it's just him. People accept it like an arm. And the Croydon personnel has changed quite significantly over the past week. How did that affect your preparation? I know you like to watch teams before we've 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 played uh, them. To be honest, uh, Mark Taylor's watched him, Hamsey's watched him, Adrian Wells has watched him, and I've watched him. So we had everything about him. So before kick off, we knew what team how we were going to set out. It's hard to play against because of, we go on the counter and sometimes you're on the ball and you're in there half and you're playing some good stuff and you lose it and all of a sudden it's on your back foot and it's hard to play against. And uh, we've got two very experienced managers who I've got a lot of time for and I think they'll do a good job and I hope they really do well. You know, I felt sorry I even paid, I know I sound staff, but I paid, I paid to get in um, when I got the ground. Um, because I, you know you, you want clubs like this as a five. I saw the committee members who were very welcoming and making you a cup of tea and the, the bar's nice in there and all like you know. So they're trying to do everything and I really do wish them well like you know. So you know, if I do get a bit of money, I want me to quit back to be honest. So that's uh, that's the way it is. But fair play, fair play. And where does Dean Lodge fit into the side going forward? He played today as a centre forward. Yep. He's played right side, left side of midfield. Where do you see him fitting in? In the, in the final third. That's where I want to play him. I'm not really interested in him doing tricks and silly little things on the half wheel line. Um, I'm, I want him in the final third. Same as Sam Clayton. I want him in the final third and Bobby in the final third. We've got players in the back three and the two wing backs who are all right defensively as such. And we've got players who are all right defensively and, and stuff like that. And Moore likes to sit and pass the ball. So we need attacking players in the final third. I'm not far about them being in our box, to be honest. Um, Let's get them in there and cause problems, and that's what I think we are done. To be honest, you know, we're challenging now at the top of the league after this afternoon's victory. How do you temper the expectations of of the fans for for going on to win the league, making the playoffs? No, I'm not bothered. Like, if you're asking us what, I never get pressure off up the top. We're always very supportive, Mark and Martin, but uh, deep down here, no, we should be in the top yet. That's what we're thinking. That's what the challenge is at the start of the season, contract-wise. We're in the contract, and we think that we should be in the top yet. That's fair enough, um, and stuff like that. You have your ambitions a bit more, and that um, stuff, and that's all we got to try to do. Is you know, if we're out of top, you know, at the minute because we've started off well. If we don't get in the playoffs at this minute, you think, oh, quick, that's not so good. Can we win the league? I'll see it. I think this team's stronger than us, but can we win it? Of course we can. Um, but we'll, we'll just go game by game. We'll this year and all that. You know, but we never talk with titles. Yeah, I believe believe something drew a deal, and I don't know how to, and we could be top of the league as we speak now. I don't know, second top, um, but. Uh, if you, if you want to be anywhere in the league, you want to be top. I'm not after all this rubbish where you say if you long in the top five at Christmas and you can nick a couple of weeks, it doesn't work like that. If you want to be in the position, you want to be top of the league. The teams you want to play against is that at the bottom. It's as simple as that. Um, so uh, expectations to really come into it. I've got big enough shoulders anyway, as I say. I'll take whatever. You know, if we lose a couple of games, it'll be looking the other way. And that's the things will happen like you know. So uh, it's not a problem. You, know. you mentioned last week the criticism that you yep. had received on the back of the St Albans yep. game. Does that show how good a job you've done in that the, the Cape's fans are disappointed to lose to a side uh, one league above? Uh, it, it, it's not so much I, 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 I gather my language causes stir and I think the rate and um, 
I'll apologise for that. I know people say I don't have to apologise, but it's not nice if, if, if women and kids are looking on the, the, the form and seeing me swear. Now, I do go into coaching with the kids and stuff like that. I do wear my heart on my sleeve and I do say things I don't mean at times and come out wrong. That's why Hamzy and Martin are a bit more calm than I am, and it's always got to work like that. People who know me, um, people who know me in the club, will know how I felt last week because I was so disappointed myself about the St Albans thing because I really wanted to, to play at Luton and I wanted the club to get 25 grand and I wanted to do something with Jeff Chappell never done and things like that. That's how I am. I want to break every record in the booth. So that, that was a lot of me say. So when we beat it and you get a little bit of stick, you do, and I probably just let everything off steam as you're doing. Probably I should have had the chat with Harms or Martin before I had a chat with you, but he, he, I don't mean anything by it. I, I wear my heart on my sleeve and I know support has travelled a long way and I pay good money, but at the same time, I just think some say things they shouldn't say. At the end of the day, it's opinions. I say again, definitely the support as some. I say it right with others. I all right at the end of the day, and it's on my head if we win or lose. And that's a one where I know I get a lot of praise, a lot of stick, but I wouldn't stick my neck out. But I, again, I, sh I don't think I should have sworn, to be honest. And, um, it was a jolly good game today, as you said. <laughs> and you said last week, so that you'd rather people front you face yes, I do. to face. Yes, no problem. I do think that nobody can say anything differently, okay? Um, I think we take defeat, it's not so much bad, I think some people should hang around after games and I think we should be a bit more professional in what we do, that's my opinion. If we lose a game, all is go straight in the director's bit and take on the chain, whatever anybody wants to say, we've all got opinions. All is go in the sponsors and I, and I always end up in the ball and if anybody's got to say that's useless, that's poor, that's pathetic, not a problem, take me fears. I don't like the sniping gun on behind me back if it goes on and I don't like players getting stick when they're fighting their fight and I think they're giving it everything and all that, you know. And I'd rather have them saying, oh come on Delson, what you're doing, oh Delson, and if I tell them to get lost or whatever, because I can't swear, if I tell them where to go, they've got to accept that as well as us, mate. We appear their money to come in, but I'm also a stand there, so at the end of the year, I'll do anything to protect my players. The plan last week was to actually see a summit on here to get everybody's thoughts off the, the forums, the websites, uh, the papers, to not think, oh, we could have been at Luton today. And it sort of worked out way. But how I'd done it was probably the wrong thing. I was trying to play a little main game because I didn't want to, oh, we could have been at Luton, we could have been at Luton. We're here to get top of the league, and that's what we're here for. We're here on Monday night to go to top of the league. If we do that, Luton might get a little bit of win. We're in the trophy, we've got to win that game as well. And then um, we've got to kick on the season, which has ended up being a kind of season, to be honest, you know. We've got Worldstone away on Monday. Yep. How much of a tougher game is that going to be than today? We're all tough, but these are tough, you know. That's Wheels and Drew. Wheels and Drew with these two's all. And that's tough. I don't know how Wheels and got on today, yeah, but Gordon's an excellent manager who I cannot believe it. Like, you talk about supporters getting stick. How are we can give him stick after 20 years of our football club and what he's done and who he's sold, the best bats and that. And he's keeping along and he, he's been in five, six different grounds. And that just shows how fickle people can be. And that's how, not just in football and life, to be honest. And life is a big thing in life, to tell you the truth. Like, you know? So it's um, Gordon will have them up for it. He'll have them organised. And we'll be up for it because we want to stay at top. And that's what it'll be. So it's not a problem, you know. And you mentioned there that you'd rather people front you face to face. Yes. I thought if we played 4 4 2 and started with Carl, we'd have won 5 0 today. What do you think about that? Ah, but you're just a spanner who doesn't do anything with your bloke here. Don't swear, don't swear. I'm not just a spanner with a bloke here who looks like somebody of a um, suicide bomber <laughs> from Bankwood Records and all that. So, uh, so I'm not going to take notice of YouTube planks, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said blinking. <laughs> Good result that was on. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs>